Hi and welcome to Shosa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some very important problem on physical sciences. You can WhatsApp or call us at the given number for any doubts or for full videos on our courses. Let's see the first question. Two events separated by a spatial distance of 9 into 10 to power 9 meters are simultaneous in one inertial frame. The time interval between these two events in a frame moving with a constant speed 0.8c with, with a speed of light c equals to 3 into 10 to power 8 meters per second is now using inverse Lorentz transformation that is T equals to T dash plus V X dash by C square whole divided by root over 1 minus V square by C square. Upon simplifying we find that T1 equals to T1 dash plus V X1 dash by C square whole divided by root over 1 minus v square by c square. Similarly, t2 equals to t2 dash plus v x dash x2 dash whole divided by c square by root over 1 minus v square by c square. Now if we consider this as equation 1 and equation 2 Therefore, from 1 and 2 we get, therefore subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, we get t1 minus t2 equals to t1 dash minus t2 dash plus v by c square into x1 dash minus x2 dash whole divided by root over 1 minus v square by c square. Since events are simultaneous, hence t1 dash minus t2 dash equals to 0 and x1 dash minus x2 dash equals to 9 into 10 to power 9 meters. Therefore, t1 minus t2 equals to 0 plus 0 0.8c by c square into 9 into 10 to power 9. Now, this whole term will be divided by root over 1 minus 0.8 whole square c square by c square. Thus, upon simplification, we find t1 minus t2 equals to 40 seconds. Moving on to the next question. If the Lagrangian of a particle moving in one dimension is given by L equals to x square by 2x minus vx, the Hamiltonian is therefore h equals to x square by 2x minus vx. Therefore, p equals to del L by del x which is equals to x dot by x. Now capital H equals to Px minus H which is x dot by x x minus x square by 2x plus vx. Oh. Or H equals to x square by 2x plus vx. Now x dot equals to px or h equals to p square x square by 2x plus vx or h equals to half x p square 
plus v x. Thus, this is our answer, which corresponds with option A. Isn't it simple? Let's try out a very different sum in our next question. The magnetic, magnetic field corresponds to the vector potential A equals to half F into R plus 10 by R cube R, where F is a constant vector and it is among the following option. Therefore, let us write down the given information, half F into R plus 10 by R cube R. Therefore, B equals to delta into A, which equals half nabla into F into R plus 10 nabla plus r by r cube or b equals to half nabla into f into r notice nabla into r by r cube equals to 0 Therefore, now F into R equals I cap, J cap, K cap. Let me change the color so that it becomes easier for you. Fx, Fy, Fz, Xy, Z. And this equals I cap z f y minus y f z plus j cap x f z minus z f x plus k cap y f x minus x f y now proceeding further now we find nabla into f into r which is equals to the following that I have already calculated on the screen. Now proceeding further b equals to fx i cap sorry b equals to half nabla into cross product of f into r which is equals to 2 f by 2 or capital f and hence option a is correct With this, we come to an end of another great video. Please like, subscribe or click on the bell icon. You can also WhatsApp or call us at the number given on the screen for any doubts, questions or queries or for full videos on our courses.